Hi everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my classic happy planner for the month of October. So I typically will stick down some sticky notes. <laughs> Maybe these are too sticky. It's like hard to take off. I rip them because I don't need the entire sticky note. I should just use smaller ones. But yesterday I took a couple of minutes and just took a sheet of paper, wrote down all of the dates of the month and wrote down everything that's going on. So I somehow have like several days with multiple things, not technically happening, like their birthdays or things like that, whatever, whatever that may be. Okay. First up, I'm going to cross out the holidays, definitely Columbus Day. I know that the newer planners, this is an old 18 month planner. So the newer planners do say Indigenous Peoples Day and not Columbus Day. Um, I think that if I pull one out, let's see, I have Seasons of Color for next year. And here we go. Indigenous Peoples Day and World Mental Health Day. And it has Diwali. So each year seems to have more appropriate holidays. Okay. And then Halloween, I'm going to cover up because we'll want to do something separate there. All right. Now, first up, if you've watched my monthly plan with me videos. They don't vary that much besides the decoration I'm using. I like to be able to do the same thing that I know works for me and my brain every month. So um, here's an example of August after the pen, September, I'm still working on. So I put my bills with these black boxes and then events that I know with bigger boxes. And then I just kind of fill it in throughout the month. I love this spread, especially after the pen. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I have these black boxes here. These are from Mojo Jojo Plans, but there's also Happy Planner black boxes. Um, I just don't think I have any more of them left. So I'm going to take a box down and put it by each bill due date. So it's 14th, 15th, and I'm not laying it completely flat at the bottom because I just like to give it a little bit more room. Um, 20, 22, 22. This video is actually being filmed the same day it goes up. It's early on the morning of the 27th, and this video goes up the night of the 27th, which is not typically something that I do. Oh, all my bills are due on this side. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, <laughs> that just gives us more room over here to sort of decorate. Uh, 30, 30, 30, 7. I feel like I must be missing something in here. Um, okay. I am. I have two bills over here, of course. So. that gives a little bit more room to decorate. So now I'm going to take my pen and kind of mark off some of these things lightly so that I can still see them when it's time to write them in again into my planner, but at least I know that they're handled. Okay, up next. So, all right, the first is Friday. The stickers that I want to use are Homebody Seasons. I actually just picked up another one of this because I really like it and I used a lot of it last fall and winter. So maybe I'll just take this Halloween sticker while we're here. And actually, no, I'm not ready for that yet. So let me take a little bit of wax paper. I have a loose sheet over here. Lately, I've been saving my loose sheets of wax paper. I used to throw them out, and I'm like, why am I throwing them out? These can be reused. I don't use every single part of it. So I really love these pumpkins. I think they're so much fun, and I really wanted to be able to um, use them this month in this planner. But the other thing I was trying to come up with last night, I was like, what colors coordinate? And then I came, I saw Love for Letters, and I was like, oh, well, this could be interesting. So I like too many ideas, not enough time. Aside from the dark green, I don't even think that's that wrong. I think 
that this is such a pretty coordinating sticker as long as it fits in the sidebar. What do we think? It might not, but I think maybe it can go right here. Okay. Um, so now I want to take a uniball signal and we're just going to cover up this line a little bit so that I can put some more pumpkins down. I used these pumpkins last year in, I don't know if it was a big or a classic plan with me. So now I wanted the chance to use them in a monthly. If there's a sticker book you love and you've used a lot, don't hesitate, I mean, I don't wanna say don't hesitate to buy a new one, but obviously you have to do what works within your budget. Um, but this was on Amazon for $9.99. I don't know if it still is. If it is, I'll look it up because I know a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to purchase it last year. But I, uh, that's why I decided to get another one because for $9.99, I knew that I would get plenty of use out of it. Okay. So I was able to use this larger sticker or taller sticker because there's nothing, it's not a date, but I think that for some of these other dates, I want to sort of give myself a little bit more room. I also wanted washi, so let me grab that. This, which I think is actually from the original Homebody line, is my favorite washi for a monthly because if I can find the end, it's really light and it's just like a light stripe and I find that to be really pretty. So I think that it works well. Um, when doing a monthly spread. And it's thin. What am I doing with my left hand here? What is wrong with me? Okay. Um, I feel like maybe we'll put another little pumpkin over here. And then another stripe right here and again I'm being mindful to not fill up too much of the boxes because I'm going to want to fill them in with things that come up and memories and plans that I will have that I don't know that I have yet so kind of put those there all right let's get back to some of my before I put too many of these down let's get back to some of the other dates that I want to include so I'm not really sure that I have any boxes that are going to work well besides black. I was looking in mixed media and I don't know that these necessarily work. Eh, they're not great, but I bet I could use gray. Also monthly colorful boxes. None of these stickers work. I also looked in jewel tone boxes. These work. These are pretty. Okay, we can do this. We can work with this. So I think I'm going to do one on the 29th for my mom's birthday. She deserves a big one. And um, let's see. Let's see if I have anything. Um... The 23rd, I don't know if I really want these next to each other like this. Do I have any bigger dates on this side? Hmm. No. All right, I guess these can just go here, whatever. But then I wanna use this color a little bit more now that I realize this coordinates. So hopefully they are not stickers in this color. <laughs> oh, how are there such pretty light colors like that? And then there aren't any more. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are going to use gray. So I have Mojo Jojo Plans neutral boxes. I believe there are grays in here. There are. All right, so Friday, I think I probably should have adjusted this a little bit. Why are my pages on the desks? Did you realize that happened? 
out long before it happened. I don't know why I did that, why I never took them off. Of all the videos I've done, I'm not sure I've ever, I've ever done that before. Okay, I'm going to put this sticker over here a little bit because I've got a couple things going on on Friday. So maybe this one will end up being sort of at the base here. So not only is rent due, but on Friday, my, this needs to be fixed, my Patreon launches. I'm so excited. And on Friday, I will have a video up um, explaining Patreon, explaining my tiers, explaining all the fun things. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm really, really excited for this. And then I also have my nephew's baseball game on Friday, but I just don't think that there's going to be room to put that in here. So um, I'll just put that in my classic or big, in my classic planner. Because it's this week, it's not like I have to plan ahead too far, given that it's only a few days away since today is Monday. Okay, so we're just going to cover this up or cross that one out. And then... I've got a similar kind of situation Saturday where I have my niece and nephew's soccer games. They are both doing soccer this year, which is going to be very interesting. It often kind of becomes a which game to go to. So I'm sort of trying to alternate it. It hasn't quite worked out that well. Um, my nephew is on a travel league. And my niece, it's so cute. She's six, so it's like clinic soccer. It's really sweet, but I need a sip of coffee. So it's not always doable. Um, like this weekend, they're at nine and 10, which sounds doable, but they're like 40 minutes apart. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm also going to grab stickers from Proud Sticker Designs. Oh, there's boxes in here. Duh. Okay, I need to like remember to reach for this. I always reach for it during my dashboard videos, but I don't always reach for it during my other videos. Oops, I need to put this on bigger discs. Um, let me just do a quick search here and see if there's any stickers that go along with these pumpkins. So if you this is your first time in my channel, it's a little bit bright. And you haven't seen, these are Proud Sticker Designs. It's Nicole who owns the shop, is a lovely friend and shop owner and is so kind to share stickers with me. You can always get 20% off. Is this a little bit too orange? I don't know, let's see. Um, by using code Elise 20 I will link her shop below. This is a little bit too light. And I'm not talking in general, like this sticker is too light. It's just that for the color scheme I'm using. So I don't think there are any anniversaries. Okay. Let me move this over. What a mess. Okay. Birthday. It's on here. All right. For my mom's birthday, we are good. Um, should I use this orange? It's not really an orange. It's more of like a sand, but yeah, not a sand. Like, I don't know. On October 21st is my friend Katie of Fake It Till You Make It. It's her birthday. So let's get that one down. And then on the 27th, is my cousin's birthday. When I come from a big family, <laughs> there's a lot of birthdays. I think that this orange is pretty. I just wish I had more stuff going on on the left side. I don't know why all my plans are on the right side. <laughs> um, okay, the eighth is my dad's birthday. I always feel weird putting this in my planner. He died um, 16 years ago, 16. But like, it's still his birthday, right? I don't know. It's still, this is the day he was born and I'm still going to do something to celebrate his life. So I'm just gonna 
kind of bring this one down a little bit so I have more room to write dad up there. All right, October 11th um, is my grandmother's yurt site in the Jewish religion, the yurt site. It just, I don't know actually what it exactly stands for, but it's the anniversary of someone's death. And this is 10 years, which I can't believe it's been 10 years since she passed away, but I'm going to note that in there. That's also Indigenous People's Day. I'm not quite sure I have the room to put that in there now. Um, the 23rd, I'm going to an apple cider orchard, angry orchard. Okay, I think, whoops, I think I filled in, or I got a box for everything. I know this side is very, very busy, so let's spend some time bringing in some more fun throughout this spread. So, oh, I also need to do my trick for the 24th and 31st. So we're going to do that momentarily. But I want to fill in these spaces a little bit more. So let's get maybe another row of pumpkins down here. So again, trying not to, I mean, I know I'm filling up a decent amount of space there, but trying not to fill up too much. I rely on my monthly spread as like a quick overview of what's happening throughout the month um, and to transfer things into my classic planner, but, and to fill in memories and stuff, but it's not like I mentioned Friday. There's three things to date and I just don't have really the space to put everything. So, um, doesn't mean I'm going to like miss my nephew's baseball game. I know it's there. It's on my phone calendar. It'll be in my classic planner. These pumpkins are cute. All right, let me move some of these stickers out of the way because then I tend to sort of forget what I have and what I'm working with. So I know I used that big quote from Love for Letters. Let me just see if maybe there's anything else in here that we can kind of play with. Oh, these would have been great, Elise. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad that I have these boxes, but these would have been perfect. <laughs> Silly me. I like this happy heart sticker. Okay, let's use it. Let's cover that up. This is why I don't tend to use a ton of different sticker books in my monthly because I forget what I pulled out for what. <laughs> Okay, and then we can sort of take these, like today, and just kind of put that there, to sort of bring these in together a little bit. That works. All right, happy heart. I'm gonna stand up and make sure I get this down right to the first time. The other option I have, I think we'll do it, is to cut this. So I'm just gonna carefully cut this into two pieces. And then I'll need to cover up right here as well. While I'm doing that, I'm going to cover this up technically, or not technically, but in hindsight, I should have covered this up first and then put this quote there, but that's okay. Can't do anything about it now. So I do want to separate the two quotes a little bit, so I'm going to put heart pretty much as far over as I can, and then let's put happy heart right here. It's okay. Um, I'd like to bring this stripe in. 
for the top. I know that I didn't cover up the peach that's underneath it, but I don't know, maybe some of it shining through kind of works with this spread a little bit. And, oh, okay, monthly box. So, let me get something out. All right, I've shared, wait, didn't I put something on wax paper before? Unless I used it. Ah, Halloween, that's why, that's why I'm doing this, okay. So I've shared this trick before, but we will do it again. Hopefully I will do it. I'm gonna be really careful about doing it right this time. So I'm gonna take a few different supplies. I have label paper, although you could probably just use sticker paper, like regular labels. These are Avery True Block labels. Um, I'm also going to take a pencil and the labels. All right, so I wanna measure these boxes first. I think they're one and a half by one and a half. They are indeed. So first I'm going to cut two one and a half by one and a half squares out of my label paper. That doesn't make sense. This is why I struggle doing these things. What? I don't understand how I like, forgot to measure. What's wrong with me? I think maybe it was because I meant to put it up, like make this the vertical box. Okay. That's right. All right, that was weirdly difficult. <laughs> Not difficult, just, oh, I can't really ever deal with logistical things. Okay, especially while talking and filming it. Okay, so now to square two. And this is not a necessity for a monthly spread. What this allows you to do is utilize each of the days where there's um, a split month thing, but utilize them fully. So I'm going to put the top half of this one down and bend this in half a triangle and then we are going to looks like maybe I didn't cut these evenly I can fix it then I'm going to put the rest of this one down lining it up against here yeah I need to fix it a little bit Okay, awkward angle. So now look at that, boom, two full boxes. So I think that's what, the 24th and Halloween. So I'll put Halloween right here and I can write whatever comes up and then the 24th there. So I'm just gonna write those dates in myself. Stop trying and 31st. Okay, ta-da. Um, I like this spread. I think it came out really fun. So where is my planner? Let's put this back on the desks. Okay, there are going to be a lot of videos this week on my channel. Stay tuned for some surprises, some, um, my currently page, which is going to be three videos in one. And... 
Let's see, what else? Maybe my Happy Mail unboxing. I have Happy Mail coming this week, my Patreon launch, all of that. So there's going to be more videos this week than there are days in the week. I think at least two days, there'll be two videos each day. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you take a moment to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.